And is the box over there that tells us? Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm excited to see you. Yes, us too. So we're kind of in our, I'm in my work clothes, but I could just throw my apron over the top <laughs> because we're doing tile. That's a cute. <laughs> exactly. You both match. Yes. So the good part is, hi everybody. We just went live on Facebook. So we are here joining up again with Elizabeth's Epic Eats and Brenda's Good Food Real Fast. And this is Beanie's cooking class. Well, Virginia or mom or grandma. So it's a family affair today. So we're having fun with it. And the good part is if you're not with us live, you can watch it later. So that's what we're going to do. We're hoping there will be a lot of people catching it later because Sunday's sometimes kind of a hard day to kind of get together and do your own thing. So we're doing our own thing on this Sunday. So we are going to have a breakfast, bagels and breakfast today. And we have some fun things that we've never tried before. So this is an experiment today, but we have been told that most of this has been made before and it, and it worked well. So we're going to find out. We're going to do some bagels with this uh, mix right here. This is the Easy Peasy Bagel Pancake and Waffle Mix. And we just opened it, so we haven't tried it yet. We're looking forward to it. Elizabeth is going to show us how to do that. And we are making it vegan. So what it calls for is for six bagels, and we're only making three of this um, today in our bagel pan, which is really fun. Elizabeth just got her bagel pan, and so we're going to use it today. And we just have one, so we're going to make three of the bagels, and we're going to make three, instead of chocolate donuts, we're making carob donuts. So we're going to use up the other half of the pan with that. So Elizabeth will be making bagels and she'll show you how to do that. Why don't you go ahead and get started? Her bagels need to um, sit aside for a little while. So she's just going to follow the recipe right on the back of the package here. We are, the only thing we're changing, it calls for one cup of Greek yogurt and we are going to use silk non-dairy yogurt plain. We don't want it to be um, sweet because we're not making sweet bagels. Elizabeth, show them what you're going to put on top. Oh, and the everything bagels. And we just opened that and smelled it, and it smells delicious. It's that everything bagel seasoning. It has sesame seeds and all kinds of stuff. Chia onion. seeds, onion, garlic. It's really smelling yummy. So she's going to put that on hers, and I'm going to be making the donuts over here. So let's have Elizabeth get started. What do you have in there so far? So I have the bagel mix, and then I have salt in here, and then uh, it calls for yogurt, so I'm gonna put the yogurt in there. So we are, here's your spatula, sweetie, right here. I think I'm covering you up, there you go. We're cutting the recipe in half because it makes six and she's making three and I'm making three. So we're cutting both of our recipes in half today. So then we're gonna just whisk it in there. So you whisk it with, well actually, you already whisked the salt in, right? And now you're mixing it with a fork until it gets crumbly. And then she's gonna knead it. You might wanna take your wedding ring off to do that. <laughs> It gets a little <laughs> Hi. Ruby. I'm on my phone. Hi, Ruby. Good to see you. Hi. So Elizabeth is using the, this is the four cup mixing bowl with Epicure. And she's using that to make her bagels. So she's also using the bagel mix. Yeah, good idea. Take those rings off. <laughs> So now it says for her to knead it until it's all together. There's no extra. And then it says for her to set it aside. So we've already preheated our oven to 375. 
My donuts call for the oven to be 400, but we're not doing 400, we're doing 375 because we're using the same pan. We just have one of these neat little pans just came in, so we're excited to test it out. Um, so after she needs this, it says for her to cover it and let it sit about 10 minutes. You're having too much fun over there. <laughs> you guys see her sticky fingers. <laughs> so while she's doing that, she's mixing and kneading. You're going to get it all into a like a ball, right, I'm Elizabeth? To... <laughs> I don't want to help you there. <laughs> I'd like to keep my hands clean. And what I'm going to be doing on this side, I'm going to be using a recipe that I found on Epicure, um, shop.epicure.com under recipes. I put in donuts and there's a recipe that uses this uh, easy peasy bagel and pancake and waffle mix. And it calls for, we're making, it calls for two tablespoons of cocoa powder, which we don't have. We are just not chocolate fans, but we do have carob powder. So we're gonna put that instead. So while she's having too much fun over there, getting that mixed together, I'm gonna start with mine. And I'm cutting the recipe down. The recipe is for six, which is one pan, and I'm cutting it down to three. Is too sticky? I think so. You want a little bit more mix? Little bit more. We'll put a tiny bit more mix in here. Yogurt. Our yogurt wasn't Greek yogurt. It was non-dairy silk yogurt, so it could have been a little more. Um, liquid. So I'm going to put in my recipe calls for this bagel mix and I'm going to use a quarter of a cup of it. So she's making bagels, I'm making carob donuts. So here's a quarter of a cup of that and a tablespoon of cocoa powder. I think everybody's going to have more fun watching you, Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to get it off my fingers. And my cocoa powder is over here. It's actually carob powder. It's sort of working. You need a little bit more. Do you want me to put a little it's more like just in the mix in there? Put it on my hand. It's just the cold. Shall I dust your hands? We did wash our hands, by the way. <laughs> but I guess it doesn't matter to you guys because you're not really going to be eating it. <laughs> and I'm just going to move this phone. I don't see Grandma. I don't know what happened to her. Do you see her, Aunt Ruby? I see her. OK. I see. We just can't see her anymore. But we can see you. <laughs> I see you guys. OK, that's good. That's the main thing. OK, so I have some carrot powder here. I'm going to put, this is really messy. I'm going to put in a tablespoon of this and it's kind of clumpy. So I'm going to break these clumps up. I should have blended it first. That's a lot of fun. <laughs> It looks like a lot of fingers. <laughs> so we're also excited about Epicure's new gifting season. They've just started last Tuesday morning. Every Tuesday morning at 9 a.m., they are opening up a new line of gift packages that they're doing. I ordered a couple of them, and they've shipped already. I think they shipped two days after I ordered, which is wonderful. They'll get here in plenty of time. In fact, one of the things I ordered was a, a little baker's kit for gingerbread. So it has gingerbread cookie cutters and it has a pastry bag, which I do not have. And my donut recipe calls for it today. So I wish I had it, but I'm going to make shift with a Ziploc baggie. So we'll see how that turns out. It'll be easy cleanup. That looks pretty good. Okay, I'll get in here and help you. You might have a tiny bit of carob flavor on your... 
thankfully we have a sink right here. I think that's where Elizabeth is headed. So we'll, oh, you got a lot of carob on that spot. <laughs> so we're trying to keep hers not sweet because we're putting the everything bagel seasoning on top of it. And that's a savory kind of seasoning. Let me jump in here and wash my hands too. Oh, that doesn't come off really fast. Okay, we got it. And here's a towel. Okay, so hers is gonna sit for 10 minutes. So 20 after, Elizabeth, you need to um, need that. And I put in my carob powder and a pinch of sea salt. I don't know how you do a half a pinch, but I'm just gonna put in just like that much. And then it calls for one egg and I don't do eggs, so there's a substitute for an egg, and that is flax. So I have some ground flax here, one tablespoon of ground flax with a quarter of a cup of warm water. And it's not quite as gelatinous as I like it to be, but that was the recipe substitute on one of the other mixes. So I think this is another thing we could put in the donut pan. This is a brownie mix. And so we are not doing it today. I decided to make these carob um, donuts instead. But this one says instead of the egg, you could use flax, ground flax, with a quarter cup of water for each tablespoon of flax for each egg. So that's what I have here. So it says for me to whisk together the flour, the cocoa, which is my carob, and the salt. So I'm just gonna whisk that up in here. And then I'm supposed to, in a different place, whisk my egg and milk and sugar and butter and vanilla. So I've got my egg in here, and this is actually Epicure's smaller, um, what are these called, Elizabeth? Prep bowls, these are prep bowls, and I love the fact that they're pre-measured, so I could just put some warm water in here up to the one quarter line. So I have, I need um, an eighth of a cup of sugar, and I'm not gonna use sugar, I'm using sucanat, which is less uh, processed, it's just dehydrated sugar cane juice. So I'm gonna use this, an eighth of a cup of that. I'm thinking it might all fit in this little prep bowl since I'm using such a small amount. And my milk, I'm using an eighth of a cup of soy milk. I'll put that in. And butter and vanilla. So instead of, it says I can use butter, three tablespoons of butter or coconut oil. So I'm gonna use one and a half tablespoons of melted coconut oil. We're still getting used to having to put our coconut oil under the warming lights just to make it liquid. In Hawaii, it was always liquid. So we're getting used to, whoops, wrong place. Oh well, it's going there. So I'm gonna put one and a half tablespoons of coconut oil. And Elizabeth, in the meantime, do you think you could oil that? I already did. Oh, you already oiled it? This is what I was just doing. Oh, okay. Could you see her in the background? She was oiling the bagel pan. So I got my butter, or actually coconut oil, and a vanilla. And it says I need one teaspoon of vanilla, so I'm going to put in a half. It's smelling good. Okay, so I'm going to mix this together. I don't know if you can see that. Nope, you can't see it. If you're on Facebook, you can't see it. If you're on Zoom, you can see it. 
Okay, so that's just all the wet ingredients. It's a little eggy, you can see that. Do you see that? With the flax egg instead, kind of a little stringy, maybe you would call it. So now I'm gonna mix this with my dry ingredients. We'll see how this goes. And this is going to be my donut. It looks pretty good. It smells delicious. I'm going to get rid of this one. Spatula. I just love having a, a sink right here on our island. Okay, so I'm going to if you still have about five more minutes to do yours, Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take this mix. This is what it looks like. It looks kind of like a cake mix. Should add a little more powder. Yeah, maybe. Okay, we'll add a tiny little, tiny bit more powder. Elizabeth and Esther used to make donuts. Remember that? Yeah. I took them to our health food store on Molokai and they sold out right away. Okay, that looks better. There's a little bit of chunks of carob powder in there, so somebody's gonna get a caraby bite. Okay, Elizabeth, would you like to hold the bag or scoop it in? Scoop it in? You want me to hold the bag? You want to turn it so it's easier for you? Here, I'll hold this the bowl. There you go. Yeah. Might help if you see what you're doing. So we were talking about the gifting ideas. They had the greatest turkey dinner ever was on this past Tuesday, and I believe it's still available. Elizabeth and I got some of those. And at one of our upcoming parties, in fact, this week on Friday, Barbie is going to have a party and we're going to show how to do a gluten, not gluten free. I know everything Epicure is gluten free, but this is going to be a gluten turkey loaf. And we're going to use that um, turkey seasoning. I just got this. This is their free and one spatula. It's actually pretty nice. Yeah, it is a nice one. So I'm going to, we should probably set this in the pan when yours is getting ready to get in the pan. Okay. So I'm going to set this aside. Hers is just about ready. She has two more minutes. And in the meantime, I'm going to make a smoothie. I've been having this uh, protein shake for breakfast every morning. I usually have protein shakes for breakfast from a different company. And I'm really enjoying this one. This is the vanilla protein blend, and it smells really good, tastes good. And it can also be added to this mix. Look at that, this mix right here. It can be added to this mix, and like you can put a scoop of this instead of a scoop of this, and add protein to your waffles or pancakes or bagels if you're wanting to add more protein to your diet. So that's kind of a neat thing. But we are gonna use this to um, make, there you are, now we can see you. Okay, we're gonna use this protein shake to make an eggnog smoothie this today for a breakfast. So Andrew picked up some silk eggnog for us today from Safeway. We love that this is in season right now because this is so yummy. I tried to make my own one year. It didn't turn out. Nobody liked it. I ended up drinking it because nobody else really wanted to. So we're gonna put in, does this have measurements on it? It doesn't, but we're just gonna put um, 
up to the line. <laughs> so you, this line right here. Oh. This is probably going to be about, I'm going to say it's about 10 ounces up to that line. And we're going to put in two or one, it's two halves of a frozen banana. I don't think we need ice. And I'm going to put in a scoop of this protein blend. And Elizabeth is going to disappear in the pantry and blend that for me. We're watching the clock for her bagels. So this class is still open until the end of the month. And if you want to check out Tuesday's gift ideas, which we don't know what they are, but they're coming in at 9 a.m. on Tuesday, check it out. And you can hold your order until then. They're, they have an easy way in the back office for you to start your order and then come back to it later. So if you want to start your order now or just wait until Tuesday to order to see what fun things they have coming. I saw on their recipes that in years past, they have had an eggnog spice. So I'm hoping it comes back this season because we will definitely get it. We would love to have eggnog all year round. We really like uh, the eggnog flavor. Use um, another nice. banana, maybe. Or, or, yeah. Yeah, this so, is really good. So, this is a little, I put too much eggnog in here. She's okay, so now. that's ready. So Actually, this isn't a bad um, smoothie here. I'm just going to pour a little bit of it into this, this cup. We could even make this warm, use warm nog and make this. I don't know if anybody's ever had Tom and Jerry's, but they're really nice this time of the year. You could make it with just like this with warm nog. So we're gonna put that in our little fancy cup. You're supposed to knead it two or three times. Let me give you your recipe back now that I took it away from you. So it says to knead it for two to three times, flatten it slightly, and then cut it into wedges. So she's over here kneading it. Let's bring you closer to the camera. And my camera can't see you probably. It's sticking on your fingers. Let's, um, it says oh, it's to put a little bit of on this top on top of it so it doesn't stick so much. So we're just sprinkling some of the bagel mix on top of the bagel batter here. And then she's just kneading it two or three times. Basically, that's to work in everything and get the air out of it. And then she just got these wonderful scissors from Epicure. I have a really nice, expensive knife set from Germany that came with its own scissors, and these are way nicer. So she changed them out in my, in my knife block. So we get to use these. And those other solutions are better for cutting paper, not plastic. <laughs> <laughs> or food, right? So while she's kneading that, she's kneading it two or three times, and then she's going to cut it into three strips and then roll them into seven-inch rolls, and then she's going to place them in the bagel plant pan. It's so very sticky. And we need to get this stuff in the oven before our time runs out, Elizabeth. So I'm going to go ahead and take my, my carob donut mix here. I'm going to use her handy scissors and cut a hole in the corner of my bag. And I can hardly wait for my pastry bag to come. So I'm just going to try and get a third of these into, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here, but I've got my pastry bag with a way too big of a hole. And I'm just going to go around, around the donut hole in these pans. There's one. 
Hey, that was pretty good. I didn't drip on that one. Here's two. That one's kind of not wanting to come out. Okay, there's two of them. I'm gonna have to scrunch all my stuff together to get the third one. It's not cooperating over there. No. <laughs> I'll help you in just a second. Okay, so I'm just squeezing out the remaining batter of my donut mix here. I made a little bit of a mess on that side. It sure smells good. Okay, I'll put this on the side and let me help you, Elizabeth. It's That's, really sticky. It is really sticky. So we're just going to cut this. We're going to cut this into three strips because we're making three bagels. So we're going to try and take it into thirds there and there. Actually, that one's a little less. And we're just going to roll these into ropes that are going to be about seven inches long. Oopsie. Ah, it fell right in my chocolate donut. Oh. <laughs> and this is the I Love Brenda show. <laughs> okay. You you can I'm call gonna, this one I Love Lucy. That's exactly it. I'm just, I rinsed it off and now I'm cutting up the water. <laughs> Crazy. Um, Andrew's missing out on the fun. <laughs> okay, so I am just going to put this in a circle like this and pinch the ends. I don't think you can see, can you see that? So we yes. have our donuts here and our bagel there. It may not be pretty, Elizabeth, but it's going to happen. Pretty only counts until you put it in your mouth. <laughs> Good job. Yours looks pretty. Okay, we are going to pop these in the oven and hopefully... Wait, 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 wait. The most important part. Oh, Elizabeth reminded me I forgot the most important part. She is going to sprinkle the top of hers with the everything bagel mix. Wait, 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 my hands are, yeah, my hands are a mess too. Okay, just wipe it on the towel. The towel can be washed. Okay, so we have this everything bagel mix. And I'm just going to, in light of how my morning has gone and my afternoon has gone, I'm not going to shake it out of the jar. <laughs> I'm going to use my Epicure spoon and I'm going to sprinkle it on because I could have everything bagel mix in my oh, chocolate donuts or half of a jar of this on one bagel. <laughs> So let's be on the safe side and use our handy dandy four in one measuring spoon from Epicure that's made for these jars. Okay, so that looks really nice. And it smells really good. I better not put that back. Okay, so. Mm, that's Elizabeth's. On the top of mine, we could use, we have a, if you want to grab a caramel frosting and whatever frosting we have, we have a fudge frosting, chocolate fudge frosting, we have a caramel frosting. We could use all kinds of stuff to put on top of here. There's some in there, I think, um, that we could have mixed up. But today, I wanted to use my summer berry sprinkles that are right in front of me. 
Mmm, it smells so good. So here we have these different, this caramel frosting we made for our carrot cake. That was really yummy. We have a chocolate fudge frosting. We could use that on our donuts. And we have a salted caramel pudding. We could use any of those things. But we are going to use um, these summer berry sprinkles. Mm, I think they're going to look so pretty with the pink on top of the brown. And they're sweet already, so I think it's going to taste good. Okay, let's show you guys what we got here. And then we'll get it in the oven. Okay, this is what it looks like before going in the oven. Doesn't that look yummy? And then we yes. have, I hope you have enough time to see what it looks like coming out. I'm running out of time, so I have 10 minutes. Ooh. I don't know if that will let me do it right now. Oh, I think I lost you. No. It says remaining meeting nine minutes, 45 seconds. Okay, so I'm trying to tell it that I want to add more time. Oh, okay. I don't think it's gonna let me do it quite right. How do I get back to it, Elizabeth, right here? Mm -hmm. So is that my Zoom meeting? Mm -hmm. It's still recording? Yes. Oh, well then we can do that. Okay. So can you do that for me? That, sign it up for me? Yes. So in the meantime, I guess I just can't see you, but you can still see me. And so I'm gonna keep talking. <laughs> what I wanted to say, well, that's cooking. Um, so we have been doing Epicure for two months now and I figured it's time to sort of recap. Oh, she needs my birth date. She didn't know how old I was. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ruby knows my birth date. Brown knows my birth date. Elizabeth, if you want to grab a catalog, um, I can go ahead and do those things. So I'm going to type in this real quick so we can have just a little bit more time because I really want you to see what it looks like when it gets out of the oven. So how long do they bake? Uh, one is 15 minutes. So mine is, 15 Elizabeth's is 15. Oh, they're both 15 minutes. So we would have been five minutes um, too shy of time. So Elizabeth, can you just take a minute and say what you like most about Epicure? Uh, that their food is really like easy to make. I don't have to worry about putting too much seasonings or finding the right seasonings to uh, make dishes. I actually made soup the other day and I made two pots and it was super easy. It took maybe 15 minutes. All I needed was the ingredients and we had it and it tasted really great. And so that was really nice. What kind? What kind of sweet? It was <laughs> it was Azteca corn it tortilla, was, uh, soup. tortilla soup. Oh, yeah. okay. No, it wasn't corn. It, it was, was tortilla, tortilla. But you put corn in it. You put corn, tomatoes, and beans. <laughs> okay. Elizabeth's laughing at me. Her hair clip just fell out of her hair. <laughs> well, I'm done cooking, so. I'm just signing in real quick. It's not giving me my password. Don't you love it when it asks you if you're human? Click all the pictures that have a crosswalk. <laughs> What's worst is when you don't pass. <laughs> that happens to me all the time when I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to just stop and say really quick what I like the most about Epicure. 
So here we are trying to remodel our house and we are, have an adult foster home so we have a lady that we care for and dinner time comes up and I haven't even thought about dinner and I'm like, ah, it's time to feed everybody, it's time to get going. And Elizabeth will remind me when she sees me stressed, just grab a packet of something and she'll often go in our pantry. Yeah, that one. She'll often go in our pantry and grab a packet of something and say, look, we have everything. And that's the really neat thing about it. It really, we really do have a lot of things that, that it requires. There are things that are just staples in the pantry already. And if there's, if there's something we don't have or we don't use, then we can go ahead and, yeah, we, yeah, Elizabeth says, we can just run to the store. I don't have that option because I can't leave. So I just substitute and usually it works out fine. Yeah, it works out fine and everybody Luckily loves this food. We have Costco within like five minutes of us. So usually if we need something, I can go to the store and just get it. So we are really liking Epicure. Oops. Sorry about this, guys. All of this just to see the bagels and donuts come out. <laughs> but that's the most important part. We have to taste it, we have to see it. And I agree to that. <laughs> Upgrade now, what does it say? Wait, 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 right here. Oh, just me. And then, I'm not a robot. Okay. okay. Now we're unlimited in minutes, so we're back, guys. I can almost see you again. There you are. <laughs> Thanks for that little glitch, but now we don't have that time limit. Um, are there any questions? Nope. So the other thing I like about Epicure is we get to give people things. So we have $20 certificates for people who, you two that are on here right now already know about this. You've received $20 in free products because you booked a class. So that's exciting and thank you so much. And I do really want to say how important it is for us to have hosts for our classes, like both my mom and Aunt Ruby have hosted classes already. And so we're very grateful for that because they invite their friends who we normally wouldn't even know or be able to share with. That's how I found out about Epicure. My sister Barbie invited me to her class and I hadn't heard of it and I absolutely love it. I was just talking to her yesterday and we talked about how we're enjoying the food, mom and Ted are enjoying the food, and I said, thank you so much for introducing me, and she said, oh yeah, I forgot I did. <laughs> so just to say, we are thankful that we get to give things. Um, also, we have 50% off of products when you do a cooking class, so if anybody wants to do a class, no matter where you are watching this, we can do it just like this in our kitchen. To all of your friends, the only bad part about it is you don't get to taste and smell the food, but you just have to trust us that it's really yummy. Or um, if you live in our area, we can come to your house, or hopefully soon we'll have them in our house. So that'll be exciting too. So if you want to host a class, um, if you want to book a class off of this class, that gives Virginia some extra points, an extra 50% off of a product. So be sure and let us know or let her know that you'd like to book a class and we can make it really easy for you and you can even kind of choose what kind of stuff you might like to do in your class. The other thing I like about Epicure is Elizabeth and I get paid. So it's nice every once in a while we have money show up in our bank account because they deposit. So we can see money going out where we order and we get paid on our own orders. So that's really nice because we've been actually ordering a lot of things I don't know if we can show them our pantry. Let's try it, Elizabeth. While we have a few minutes, you can leave it there. You're just gonna see the messier part of our <laughs> house here. And we're gonna take you into our pantry. Open two doors and look at our, look at our Epicure stuff. Isn't that fun? 
that's just the stuff that's in the packets, but we are enjoying it. And then we have stuff on the shelf back there then we have stuff in the and we cupboard. have stuff in the other cupboards but anyway we are enjoying epicure and we're enjoying having a lot of options so we don't need to have the same thing all the time just because it was easy to make last time and everybody enjoyed it how are they doing elizabeth elizabeth says they're turning out <laughs> I think we have about five minutes left. So, Elizabeth wants to see in the oven. Let's see if you can see in the oven. That might be kind of fun. Can you see them in the oven there, or do you just see a reflection? Can you see them? Oh, they're way up there. I don't know if we can see them in the oven, but they do look and smell good. Those bagels really rose nicely. So we are going to, we can either put some tofuti cream cheese on Elizabeth's, which we might do. Um, and we can put, we'll just probably put some butter on mine or mine are donuts. You don't have to put anything on them. They're already done. And we are- I mean, you could put these glaze if you want Where did to. our fruits go? We had, we had rinsed some, we have a mouse in the house. <laughs> His name is Denny. <laughs> he comes up and cleans up after us and I'm like, no, no, we're using that. <laughs> so, okay, so we have some fruits that we put together. I was actually making my own breakfast. This, this is going to be my breakfast. Yum, yum. We just got this, up, or well, I just got this strainer, and it's really, really cool because after you're done using it, you just like flatten it, and it goes flat. And then also, um, I saw on Facebook somebody was using it to like drain their spinach, like the frozen spinach. You just put the spinach in here, and then it has a hole, so you just squeeze it, and then you can drain stuff with it too. Oh, that's so that's cool. really cool. So we put some fruits in there. Okay, Elizabeth. You and I are gonna have some fun here. You try one side here, you like green. And I'll try the other side, let's get in here. Mmm, that is so yummy. This is the eggnog protein shake. Mmm, yum, yum. <laughs> so we put some in a cup here. That's gonna go with our little breakfast. 43, we have two more minutes. Let's see. We put those in. At what time did we put them in? <laughs> I think we had 10 minutes of our class left, right? Yes. When we put them in. Yes. And so our class was going off at 40. So yes, we have two more minutes. Quick math there. So we have some grapes and raspberries. We're going to put on our little plate here to go along with our breakfast. Wow, that was a really yummy protein drink. Have you made the waffles yet? We haven't. We just now opened this bagel mix. And mm -hmm. so we, um, do you have a waffle pan? I don't think I have a waffle pan. Yeah, we didn't buy a waffle pan, but we sure want to get one. So that's why we didn't try it. But we're actually trying the mix in the bagels today. It has a different uh, recipe on the back of it for bagels and a different one for waffles. So, okay. so you can, you can use it for several different things. So we use the side that said baked bagels and there's another recipe for pancakes and baked waffles. Do you have the waffle pan? No, Jeremiah bought the waffle pan, but we haven't tried it yet. We haven't tried it yet. Yeah. So, That's just, so that works. This works for three things. You can use it for pancakes, bagels, or waffles. So it's really cool. That right. Well, and then we used it for the donuts. So we're gonna have to get more of this. By the way, this stuff runs out fast. We were really mm -hmm. worried because it was out of stock for this cooking class. And how do you do a class and show people things that they can't order? So on Friday, it just came back in stock. So if you want to get some of this, which we're gonna order a bunch yeah. more of this because it's it's 
it does all these things. It's kind of like a staple. We didn't even order it before because we haven't thought of Epicure for breakfast. But now we are, so we're going to order more of this too. It's time, Elizabeth. So get your pot holders on. It smells so good. And Elizabeth has her Epicure baking, um, cutting board here for her covering. So I've got this knife for, okay, show them what it looks like. Look how big they rose. Mm -hmm. That is really neat. Those look so good. They do look good. Let's see how easy they are to come out. Wow, they just slide right out of there. This is the one I made, so it's really crumbly. And let's see how the donuts come out. That, that's hot. <laughs> Here, I think I can do here, this. I'll grab it and then you can watch. Okay, bring it over here so they can they can watch the I Love Lucy show. <laughs> <laughs> this one's a little more. stickier. It might need to go in for a little bit longer. I think they all can go in for a tiny bit longer. So okay, let's so do that. You want to? We'll go ahead and cut this okay. one open. And after they cool a little, it might be easier. Right. I'm just slicing this. Mmm, it smells so good. You know, this one, it's probably not quite done yet. It's not quite done yet. It does slice well, but let's put it back in. Yeah, it's you so know, what's amazing to me is all of this stuff is gluten-free. And gluten-free is really hard to get to um, hold together and to actually kind of, at least for me, because I'm not gluten-free, and so I don't cook that way all the time. But I found that gluten-free is hard to get it to kind of be like normal. But this looks like it's gonna be pretty good, pretty like normal. We're just gonna leave it in there. Um, we had one of them needed to be on 400, and the other was 375. So we chose the lower one so we wouldn't burn anything. So a few more minutes won't hurt anything. And we're unlimited Zoom now, so but that doesn't mean I'm gonna be keep you here for an hour, okay? <laughs> well, maybe close. <laughs> and let's get your um, cream cheese on top. Our oven is still at 375. Was there something else? I keep feeling like there's something else. I always forget stuff. But I think we pretty much covered it. Um, we're just loving this. We're looking forward to Thanksgiving at mom's house. And we're going to bring that um, best turkey dinner ever mix. And so we're going to just have fun with it. We're going to make a gluten turkey roast and we're turkey loaf. We're going to bring that. So, and as we show them what we got in our mix, that's, we're really looking forward to making this. Um, what we got in our kit, which I believe they're still available. They were on Friday. They're still available as of a few minutes ago. So this is their, the new, one of the gift ideas or gift packs that came out last Tuesday. So it has the, this is the roast, um, the turkey roast herbs in it. This so pumpkin pie, pumpkin pie, and then this one is the green bean casserole, green bean casserole, and then it has the vegetable broth, and then it has no, I don't think this one was supposed to be. <laughs> yes, it was the okay. vegetable broth. Um, and then the um, onion, the sage, and um, uh, apple stuffing, and then it has the herb and garlic seasoning. And then it has the uh, savory herb gravy. So all of these things came in the one um, pack, which is now a gift pack. So I think we use the broth while we make the turkey, which I'm gonna use that broth when I make my um, gluten. Milk. So yeah, so that's kind of, I'm excited to use it. Uh, we're gonna 
play around with it a little bit. I believe it's this Thursday. It's not Friday. This Thursday at Barbie's party. So join us. If you're wanting to find out about that time, you can get in touch with Barbie or Elizabeth. But she's having a party at, is it, I don't know what time it is, but it's on Thursday. And it'll be this same format, Zoom and Facebook. So it's the 29th. Is that Thursday? I think so. I yes. see drama looking at the calendar. <laughs> so let's check those again. I think they should be done. There they are. So this was a nice little break from laying tile. And now we get to eat it. That's going to be even better. I haven't eaten anything yet today because I've been too busy. <laughs> Not good. Okay, let's use a different one. Let's use the one Elizabeth made. It's pretty. Look at that. It is holding together so nicely. I'm going to let it cool while I grab a donut. I can grab this one. It's, are they still not done yet? They were supposed to cook a little hotter. So let's take your bagels out so they don't get burnt. I'm losing all my bagel mix off the top of it. That one was sliced. So let me use this knife to get them. You got the top half off? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I think they're done. They'll when they cool, they'll be a little bit better. I kind of I messed that one up. <laughs> okay, well now I can I can eat that one. <laughs> oh, let's try it. Now that we crumbled it all up, that gives us a really good excuse to stuff our faces with it. Yum. I'm gonna put a little bit of Elizabeth. Do you want cream cheese on yours? Sure. I got some of the mix. I got some of the everything bagel mix on my donuts. Mixed up bagels and donuts today. I'm gonna make it go higher. Yes, let's put it up to 400. Here, I'll do that. You taste this. Oh yeah, these are really good. Let me taste it. I think they're still mm. Mm, I wish you guys could taste it. It's so yummy. That everything bagel mix reminds me of the onion bagels you buy at Costco in the big that has onions and do they have all the seeds on them too? I think so. It's almost like a mix. They have onion bagels and then they have the seed one. This is like a mix of both of them, the onions and the seeds. It is so yummy. Mm -hmm. mm, mm, mm. We're going to put this on here so it looks nice. We'll just put one of them there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Have two of yum. Sure. Yum, yum. I don't know how long they have to stay in. I'm, not sure. I'm ready to try those donuts, though. Mm -hmm. Let's just try it. <laughs> Okay, let me just see. See how these donuts turned out? They're, the sugary stuff on top is sparkling. It's really pretty. Let me put it over here. Is that the one I So I had a question come to me um, last week, I think it was, how about your spatula? I don't know if you can hear me. Can you hear me from over there? Yeah. Over here, Abby? You're over there, I'm over here. Can you hear me? <laughs> so I had a question come up. I think it was last week. Somebody asked me, if you're using a nonstick, these nonstick pans, do you still have to oil them? The answer is yes. We're just finding out that even though we oiled this, it's a little sticky. So I would say yes, still oil it even though it's a non-stick. So here we are. We are going to take off our donut. It, we probably should have let it cool in the pan or on a cooling rack first. Mm, Elizabeth, can you take off one of these and we can, or let's, 
and we can taste it. That's hot. They are hot. Even though these are like plasticky kind of pans, they you wouldn't think they would be this hot, but they are. <laughs> We're having too much fun here. Look, Elizabeth, let's try this. Just let it cool there, but let's try this. We have to try this and then we'll let you guys go, but we have to tell you how it tastes. It's hot. Say hi to Oh, it smells so good. Hi! We have Arab donuts. You got to come and try them. They're nice and hot. I <laughs> am for Thanksgiving. <laughs> These are really yummy. Look, if you were here right now, this could be your breakfast. That's eggnog. Well, so we have <laughs> hours late. <laughs> Well, you could watch it tomorrow morning. <laughs> Rewind it. <laughs> so this is eggnog, uh, eggnog vanilla protein shake. And Elizabeth and us tried, and me tried it. Us, there's two of me. <laughs> and we got some grapes and raspberries. These are the bagels with everything bagel. And these are the carob donuts, donuts with the summer berry sprinkles on top. This is so yummy, guys. We're going to sign off here there's a link to order because we want to eat this stuff while it's still hot <laughs> thank you for joining thank you. us and uh, thank so you so much for us. hosting have and we'll see you day. soon we'll see you at thanksgiving yeah. have a great rest of your day bye bye, bye, -bye. And ruby. bye ruby bye bye <laughs> bye <laughs> where you ended. End meeting.